652 time for the morning sprint. Breaking overnight, the Dane County Jail Project will not be on the ballot. And uh, we'll have more on this in just a moment. First, though, we have uh, another breaking news this morning uh, about that big airline snafu last week. Yeah, the FAA announcing that an employee unintentionally deleted a file, causing that massive outage last week. The FAA said there were no signs of malicious intent of a cyber attack. That outage caused the first ground stop since 9-11. All right, back to that big Dane County jail vote now. The board rejected a referendum proposal last night that went against pleas from the Dane County Sheriff and the County Executive for an alternative plan to addressing overcrowding and conditions at the Dane County Jail. So, the future of the jail remains uncertain this morning. New video of that dramatic rescue shows police and firefighters saving a Milwaukee woman whose car plunged through the ice. This is mm. newly released body cam footage from that snowstorm in December, but it is no less powerful. Water was up to her chest when those officers arrived. Doctors believe the woman is going to make a full recovery. Oh, good news there. That warm weather causing problems for a big tourist attraction in the Wisconsin Dells. The ice castles would normally be running at full capacity this time of year. Owner Brent Christensen hopes that the castles will be open in a few weeks now. The castles are made by sculptors and artists all over the world in the Dells. New York and New Hampshire. A multi-million dollar cross-country crime spree has come to an end. Brianna Tapia, a citizen of Chile, abandoned a running van here in Wisconsin. That was one of the key pieces of finding the evidence for him. He is the responsible for robbing jewelry stores, stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from a store in California, and crimes in at least six states over the last two years. He's currently being held by U.S. immigration. Our top trending story on Channel3000.com this morning, a 16-year-old girl who allegedly stabbed a 14-year-old boy is now facing attempted homicide charges as an adult. The victim is expected to survive. We brought you this as breaking news earlier this week after the stabbing at the gas station on the north side. Prosecutors have filed a charge against the teenager a day after police arrested the girl. Air manufacturer Boeing will be in a Texas courtroom next week over a fraud charge that led to the deaths of 157 people. The fraud stemming from Boeing certifying the 737 MAX that led to the deadly 2019 crash. Boeing entered a deferred prosecution agreement with the federal government in 2021, but it did not involve family of crash victims. After arguments of the court, the judge agreed the families should be involved. Legendary singer-songwriter David Crosby has died. His family says the 81-year-old passed away Thursday after a long illness. Crosby was an iconic figure in folk rock music for more than six decades. He was a founding member of two memorable groups, The Birds and Crosby, Stills, and Nash. President Biden says more money and more help is on the way to storm-battered California. Over the past month, California has seen natural disasters and dangerous flooding to a state that has suffered years of drought. 200,000 people were without power. 1,400 had to be rescued, and over 20 people have died. Yeah, we still got some light snow or flurries, mainly east of Madison now, but still you can see some of that with temperatures in the upper 20s, near 30s, not a bad way to start, but could be a slick spots out there. Bus, if you're going to school today, we're not going to see many changing conditions, cloudy conditions, a few flurries, otherwise upper 20s for most locations. And as we get into the road forecast, just to highlight, we do have some issues now, not so much traffic issues, but there are some ice cover roads in the Beltline that they're reporting now too, something to keep in mind. So as you go east of the area, there's still some slick spots. So as we zoom in, that's the area, no instances to speak of, but just that weather related thing that's going on. And three things you know right there, there's your conditions that we expect. A little snow coming Saturday night and Sunday, you guys. All right, Greg, thank you. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Make it a great weekend. We're back with an update at 726.